I am opening the Google Chrome and typing Arduino. So this website will be open. So now let us click on the what is Arduino. So in this one, what is Arduino? So learn more about the Arduino. So why Arduino? Arduino is an open source electronics platform and it is easy to use hardware and software and these boards are ready to read the inputs from the sensors and turn into an output like as in a turning an LED activating a motor so we can use this board to do by sending a set of instruction to the microcontroller so it is in a microcontroller board so who uses this board the, the thing is student hobbyist programmers and professionals why Arduino simple accessible user experience and thousands of different projects and applications is running on the Arduino and software and hardware very easy to use and the IDE is available for the Mac Windows and Linux IDE stands for integrated development environment now let us see a some of the highlights about the Arduino it is inex inexpensive class cross platform the IDE can run on different OS not restricted or not confined to the only windows simple clear programming environment open source in the software and in the hardware so these are the highlights of the things now let us see how to use the Arduino so here is getting starting guide R. we can go back and we can click on the Arduino and see discover the official Arduino boards if you see it here there is a classic family and there is a boards and here if you click on Arduino Uno R3 you will come landing into this page select your location Asia so I am selecting this now let us see how the Arduino boards looks so click to expand here this is the front view this is the back view this is the side view and this is also the side view now let us see Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on the Atmega 328 it has it has 14 digital inputs and outputs out of which 6 are PWM PWM stands for pulse width modulation and analog input pins R6 the DC current for IBO pins is 20 milliamps and the Atmega 328 contain 32 KB of in a flash memory the instructions will be saved or stored in this place SRAM the local variables the runtime variables will be saved into this one it is 2 KB EPROM is 1 KB where we want to preserve the day board specific customer specific project specific or uh, any information we should not be erased when we power down so it has to be stored so that things we try to store in the EEPROM the clock speed is 16 megahertz so there is internal built-in LED will be there that has been connected to the pin number 13 so if we scroll down we try to see the pin out diagram so this is the 0 and this is 13 so these are all digital input and output and if you can see these four are SPI pins and above you can see it's an I2C and if you can come over here you can see analog and here you can see the power supply is a 3.35 volts and ground so these things you can see and here we can give is called a 6 volts to 12 volts input that is the power supply or we can connect to an USB A to USB B cable over the USB it can get the power and it can run the same cable can be used to dump or load the program into the microcontroller that is Atmega 328 
and if you can scroll down you can see it as in schematics over here this is schematics and now it is loading the thing so you can see the schematics so with this we are going inside the atmega 328 and here is the link microcontroller data sheet over here and this page will be loaded so it is from the atmel and it is 8 bit avr microcontroller so this microcontroller is an 8 bit which is a risk architecture 131 powerful instructions most of them is single clock cycle execution and 32 general purpose working registers is there and flash 32 kb 1 kilobytes of an eprom and 2 kilobytes of an sram will be there and the peripheral slice timer <coughs> pwm controllers a to a to d converters controller uart spi and i2c these are the main peripherals which lies inside the microcontroller along with as an cpu let us see the block diagram of the atmega microcontroller so this is the block diagram we can see avr cpu which is connected to the flash and sram and has been connected to the peripherals that is timer counter 0 1 2 and uart spi twa or an i2c port c port b and port d and analog to digital converter eprom so these are the main uh, components which lies inside the microcontroller along with as in a cpu so for the more information you can refer this document for any clarification regarding the microcontroller so now let us move to the ide here when you comes to over here we can see software so if clicks here it will be moved to the download section the download for the windows for the linux and the mac i am using the linux so i am downloading the 64 bit zip file so what i am doing i have downloaded the things extracted over here and i am opening the terminal and i am going into the desktop because i extracted to this one and i am opening to this and you can see it over here i am expanding the terminal and i am running the arduino ide so this is the first ide will be opening this so now let us go to the sketch or uh, let us go to the file and you can see it in examples in this there are 11 categories are there basics digital analog communication control sensors display strings usb starter kit arduino isp so in the basics also there are various examples are there in the digital there are various examples in the analog there are various example like it's goes on now let us open the simple program like a blink now it is opening other window and open the program so if you read the comments the blink turns an led for one second and then turns off for one second repeatedly so if you can see it over here there are two major function is there one is setup another one is loop the setup it will be a one time activation function when you power on the board or power on reset so when you power on this code will be executed once and the loop code will be it is the again and again over and over it will runs it is a while one loop so now let us see the setup so the pin mode the pin what the pin you want this is the 13 and what direction you want to set output the digital pin will be acting in two modes either input or output so now we are setting the output because we want to turn on a led so the direction had, it has been set over here and when you come to the loop function digital write the pin number followed by a level level will be low or high low mean 0 high mean 3.3 or in 5 volts now i am giving as a delay 
so this is one milli so i am putting as any three zeros so milli into thousand is equal one second again i am using the digital right so the pin number followed by as any level either zero or one so then i'm making over here so now if you go to the here sketches you can do verify or compile so this board is not connected and it is not destroying the error so what i need to do it out here is select the board so now you can search here and select the board so like a arduino uno i'm selecting the arduino uno board then i am going to the sketch and doing the verify compile so this is successfully compiled now if you have a physical board and if you can connect over the usb and now we can upload or flash this program into the board so with this it is try to do so now in this linux once you have connected the board so we need to do some settings we can go to the here and if you can come down to the in this here if you click on the linux if you click on to the software so so getting started it has been there now we can follow the steps to do to get more information if you are facing any issues on to the flashing so that's all friends we try to meet in the next video with as an examples hope you understood what is arduino how to download an ide and what is a microcontroller and what it contain inside if you like my content if you like my presentation if you like my information please share subscribe that will help me a lot thank you friends bye